Well, some of you might have three, four, five kids. <laughs> Imagine having 10,000 mouths to feed. The Columbus Zoo and Aquarium does it every single day. And not only that, but with over 800 species, those diets truly vary from animal to animal. And some of those kids weigh about 1,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> have you ever wondered how employees keep everything straight? NBC4's Marcus Thorpe joins us live this morning with a really fun behind the scenes look at what all of those animals are eating. Marcus? It's a lot of grocery shopping if you think about 10,000 animals that they have to feed here and they go through an awful lot of food here at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. How about these numbers? 35 tons of USDA meat for the carnivores, 130 tons of grain, 487 tons of hay and straw, 14 tons of carrots, and 35 tons of apples for those animals here. 10,000 in total. All of that goes through just a handful of team members from the Animal Nutrition Center. Now, they do have some computerized data on each of the animals, their stages of life, what they eat now what they might need as they grow older. These members working very hard hand in hand with zookeepers who see the animals each and every day. There really is a science to it as well from some of the needs when a mother won't allow the uh, the children to nurse to some of those picky eaters in the bunch and they do have those. It's not just the shipments of food that these teams cut way and serve. They actually go onto the grounds and hunt. Anything that's edible off of plants or a tree, um, we have one horticulturist that will go out and collect that. Um, this is we're getting ready to go into our busy time of the year um, where we're kind of like squirrels. We will start storing leaves. We'll actually be out there all day in the summertime plucking leaves off of trees um, and then freezing those leaves for the animals to have over the winter months. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Some animals, though, like Nor the polar bear, they need oils from Canada. Some of the animals that actually travel with Jack Hanna, they'll actually need things from Australia to be flown in here as well. It is quite a science. It's quite cool to see as well. Reporting live here from the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, Marcus Thorpe, NBC4. Cutest story ever. You aren't kidding. <laughs> and just think, Marcus, your grocery bill could be just like that with your two boys, but <laughs> thankfully it's not. <laughs> no, my kids eat enough, but not like that. Good, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus.